Welcome back everybody to part 17 of our Unity Beginners tutorial series. In this video, we're going to start laying down the foundations to build a boss level. I'm going to start with making our boss's eye always look at and track the player's movement. To do this, you will need to get prepared by downloading the boss sprite sheet from the link in the description below. And when that's ready, it's time to crack on. First things first, of course, and that is to import and prepare your boss sprite sheet. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and done so. And if you need a reminder on how to do this, please refer to part 15 and in the def animations for a quick recap. I've also gone ahead and dragged in one of our sprites to create our boss game object in our scene. And I've added the components box collider 2D, rigid body 2D, and created a child game object, the hurt box, with a box collider 2D and the enemy HP script, all of which are tagged and layered appropriately, exactly the same as we've done with our enemies. However, you will notice if you zoom in on the boss, he's missing his eyeball. So let's go ahead and pop his eye back into his socket and get him ready. And all we have to do is find the boss eye sprite make it a child of the boss game object, and there we go, his eyes are now open. Also, we're going to add an empty game object to the eye, I'm gonna call it Firepoint. More on that very soon. And let's give the Firepoint an icon, and let's just move it in our scene, just above the eye there, just like that. And there we go, our boss is now ready. However, he is a little bit on the small side, so let's just pan out just a little bit. Let's place our boss on the ground, put him by the flag, which I've placed over here in the corner, and let's scale him up on the X and Y values here in the transform by three. There we are. And let's raise him up, and there we go. We've got a big, bad boss in our final level. Now it's time to start bringing the boss to life. So let's go to the scripts folder and create a new c -sharp script in order to do that. And we'll call this one, look at player, because we might not want this to be exclusive to the boss, but other game objects as well. And when it's ready, go ahead and open it up. In our look at player script now, let's start punching in a few variables. And as we want the eye to track the player, we're gonna to need to reference the player's transform. So we'll start by saying private transform player. Nice and straightforward. We are also going to want the object, in this case the eye, to rotate at a certain speed. So underneath, let's create a private float called rotation speed or rot speed for short. And let's give it a value of 5f. Now, this is a private value that we can only change in the script. If we want to change it in the editor, much like we can with public variables, all we have to do above it in square brackets is type in serialized field. So the value will remain private. It can't be accessed by any other code, but we can adjust its value in the editor as you will see shortly. Looking good so far. Now let's go to the start function and make a reference as to what will be the player. And we're gonna do that by simply stating that the player equals find object of type the player controller. So the game object the player controller script is attached to, more specifically, get its transform, get component transform. And there we go. Now, in the update is where the magic's gonna happen. And we're gonna encounter some very strange, very weird terms here, but don't worry, I'll explain them as best I can in the simplest way possible. In order for the eye to rotate, we're going to have to first assign a direction. And we'll do that by saying vector two and call it direction. And it's gonna equal, well, it's gonna equal the value that will be the difference between the player dot position. So the player's transform dot position minus the transform dot position of this, the I game object. Now that we've set the direction underneath, let's set the angle. And we'll start off by typing float and call it angle. And that's going to equal some funky terminology. 
as we're going to use the magic function mathf. Specifically, mathf.antan2, followed by brackets here, multiplied by mathf.rad2 degrees. mathf.antan2 basically returns the angle in the form of radians relative to the value in here, the tan of the direction x and y on the x and y axis. So in the brackets, let's type in direction dot x and direction dot y. And that will be multiplied, of course, by math f dot rad to degrees. Now rad to degrees stands for radians to degrees. And it's going to convert the radians from the math f dot antan 2 into degrees as, of course, we are assigning an angle and angles use degrees. Now that we have the angle in place, let's talk about our rotation underneath. And in Unity, all rotations are represented by an overly complicated word called quaternion. It basically means rotation. So let's name it that, rotation and equal. And our rotation will be equal to that funky word again, quaternion dot angle axis followed by brackets. Now angle axis basically represents the axis that the object is going to rotate along. And in the brackets here, we need to put in the values, which will be the angle and the axis. So let's type in our angle and then the axis. Even though we're using vector two, here we're going to use a vector three because it will allow us to access the Z axis. For example, we have used vector two dot up, down, left, right. Vector three gives us all of those plus vector three dot forward and dot back. And that's what we're going to use here. We're going to type vector three dot back. And you'll see that in effect in just a moment. And finally, now that we have our direction, our angle and rotation in place, we can now determine the transform dot rotation of this, the eye game object. And that will equal quaternion dot slurp. Now what slurp does is it's going to calculate spherically between the rotations and the quaternions using the values that we have set. And we will set those in the bracket here and altogether they will dictate what the rotation of this object will be. So they will be the transform dot rotation and the rotation, our quaternion. Then we want to add in our rotation speed and multiply that by time dot delta time. And there we go. Save that code now. Let's hop back into Unity and see it in action. But before we do, let's add the look at player script to the boss eye. Also, make sure that the eye in the order in layer is on one, so it's on top of the boss's body sprite, which is on zero. And you can see there that we have the private value, which we serialized, rotation speed, in the inspector, so we can edit it. And when you're ready, let's hit play and check it out. And yep, there we go. We can immediately see the eye turned to face the player and is tracking our movement. When we jump, it stays fixated on us. Let's jump above him, do some damage. Brilliant, that works well. Now the eye at the start, as you may have seen, rotated to the left. That's where the vector dot back came into effect. If we did vector dot forward, it would look at the player still, but it would rotate to the right, going all the way around. This works well. I hope this was short, sweet, and to the point for you. Let's head back into Unity and take a well-deserved break. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this particular video as it was dealing with some weird terms that if you want to look into further, by all means, you can do. I'll leave links in the description below where you can study up on things like quaternions, slurps, and math f functions. But before we go, I would like to set you a homework task. Now we have our boss in our scene. I want you to use the sprite sheet to create a walk and death animation and get those all set up. 
If you need help to do that, by all means, please refer back to previous parts of this tutorial, in particular, part 15, which covers creating a deaf animation, should you need. All the best, guys, and don't forget, please, if you've got any queries, just let us know on our social media, on Instagram or Twitter, or here in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.